Imagine, what will humans look like in a million years? It's a question that sparks curiosity, isn't it? As we sit here in 2023, we are the latest chapter in a story that's been unfolding for millions of years. The story of human evolution. Our ancestors started off as small, furry creatures scurrying around in the shadows of the dinosaurs. Over time they transformed into upright walking beings, with brains capable of complex thought and creativity. This transformation didn't happen overnight. It was the result of countless tiny changes, each one providing a slight advantage in the game of survival. The forces driving these changes were numerous. The shifting of continents, the changing climate, the emergence of new diseases and the competition with other species all played a role in shaping us. But perhaps the most significant factor was our own behavior. Our ability to learn, to communicate, to cooperate with each other, these have all been instrumental in our journey from the trees to the stars. Today we stand at a unique point in this story. With our technology, we have the power to influence our own evolution in ways our ancestors could only dream of. So, what's next? What will the humans of a million years from now look like? Will we still walk on two legs, or will we have evolved to fly? Will we still have our familiar human faces, or will we look more like our fishy ancestors? These are not just idle speculations. They are questions that scientists are actively trying to answer. With the tools of genetics, paleontology, and computer modeling, they are beginning to sketch out the possible paths that our evolution might take. So let us delve into this fascinating journey of human evolution and speculate on what the future holds. Whether we become beings of pure energy, or develop gills to live underwater, or grow wings to soar the skies, the future of humanity promises to be a thrilling ride. Our journey begins millions of years ago with the first hominids. These early ancestors of ours, the hominids, were distinctly different from the apes they evolved from. They stood upright on two feet, a trait known as bipedalism, which marked a significant departure from our primate cousins who moved about on all fours. This shift to a bipedal stance was a game changer. It freed up the hands, allowing for the development and use of tools, a cornerstone in the evolution of early humans. As we trace the timeline further, we encounter another crucial change. There was a dramatic increase in brain size. Australopithecus, an early hominid species, had a brain that was about one-third the size of modern humans. However, as we move forward to Homo habilis and Homo erectus, we see this size nearly double. This growth in brain size is thought to have led to advancements in cognitive abilities, such as problem-solving and communication. The emergence of Homo erectus nearly two million years ago brought with it evidence of the first use of fire. This discovery not only provided warmth and protection but also allowed for the cooking of food. Cooked food is easier to digest, which could have led to further increases in brain size. Finally, around 300,000 years ago, the first Homo sapiens, or wise man, appeared. They were very much like us, both in appearance and brain size. They were capable of symbolic thought, could create complex tools, and even had a rudimentary form of language. This was the dawn of modern humans, a species defined by its intelligence and adaptability. Each of these stages in our evolution was a stepping stone, building upon the successes and learning from the failures of those that came before. The hominids, the Australopithecus, the Homo habilis, the Homo erectus, and finally, the Homo sapiens. Each of these species played a pivotal role in our evolutionary story. These primitive forms of man were the stepping stones to who we are today. They set the stage for the incredible journey of human evolution that we continue to explore and understand. Fast forward to 200,000 years ago, the birth of modern humans. Our journey begins in Africa, where the first Homo sapiens, the species to which all of us belong, emerged. Our ancestors were not so different from us, with similar brain sizes and body structures. The key distinction lies in the remarkable capabilities that we developed, capabilities that would pave the way for our global dominance. Our early ancestors began to exhibit signs of complex language, a crucial turning point in human evolution. This ability to communicate intricate thoughts and ideas enabled cooperation on an unprecedented scale, fostering social cohesion. Imagine for the first time being able to share stories around a fire, to warn of dangers lurking in the shadows, to explain the stars above. Language was our first great invention. Then came art, a testament to the emergence of abstract thought and creativity. The cave paintings, the carved figurines, the ornate jewelry. These were not mere decorations. They were expressions of self, of community, of belief. 
Art was our way of understanding the world, of making sense of our place within it. And finally, there was culture, a complex web of shared customs, beliefs, and behaviors. Culture shaped how we lived, how we interacted with one another and the world around us. It defined us, as individuals and as a species. It was the blueprint for our societies, the rulebook for our lives. In these crucial ways, modern humans began to diverge from our ancestors. We weren't just survivors. We were thinkers, creators, innovators. We developed tools, built communities, explored new lands. We moved beyond mere existence, we began to live. These developments didn't happen overnight, of course. They were the result of thousands of years of evolution, of trial and error, of adaptation and change. But through it all, we persisted, we learned, we grew. And thus we, Homo sapiens, came into being. But our evolution didn't stop there. Our environment and technological advancements have continued to be the invisible hands, constantly molding and shaping our evolution. Let's take a dive into how these factors have influenced our journey thus far. Firstly, consider our shift from hunter-gatherers to agricultural societies. This transition didn't only change our lifestyle but it also left a lasting impact on our biology. Our diet drastically changed from diverse and protein-rich foods to a more carbohydrate-based diet, primarily from cultivated grains. This shift led to a decrease in our jaw size and an increase in tooth decay, a clear example of how environmental changes can directly influence our physical evolution. But that's not all. The advent of agriculture also introduced a sedentary lifestyle, which further resulted in numerous health issues such as obesity and heart diseases, problems that our nomadic ancestors didn't have to grapple with. Now let's fast forward to the era of technological advancements. The rise of technology has drastically changed our lifestyles. We no longer need to perform physically demanding tasks, as our ancestors once did. This reduction in physical activity has led to an increase in lifestyle-related diseases such as diabetes and hypertension. Moreover, technology has also influenced our cognitive evolution. The internet for instance has transformed the way we learn, communicate, and process information. We are constantly bombarded with information, forcing our brains to adapt by becoming more adept at multitasking and sorting relevant from irrelevant information. But it's not just the physical and cognitive changes. Technology and environment also play a role in our social evolution. The rise of social media, for instance, has changed the dynamics of our social interactions, influencing our behavior and possibly our future evolution. As we continue to adapt and evolve, it's clear that our environment and technology will remain as pivotal factors in shaping our future. What will we look like a million years from now? Will we grow wings and fly or remain as we are? Only time will tell. Indeed, our evolution has never ceased. Now let's leap forward in time and speculate on the future of human evolution. In this vast expanse of the cosmos, the human species is but a tiny blip in the timeline of existence. Yet we've come so far, from humble beginnings to the cusp of a future that's as thrilling as it is uncertain. As we ponder the road ahead we must consider the myriad possibilities of human evolution. One popular theory suggests our physical appearance may change. As our reliance on technology grows, our bodies might adapt to accommodate this. We might develop smaller, more efficient digestive systems due to advancements in nutrition. Our fingers could become more dexterous for complex tasks, and our eyes might adjust to the constant bombardment of screens and artificial light. There's also speculation about our cognitive abilities. As we continue to solve problems and innovate, our brains may evolve to become more efficient, perhaps developing enhanced memory or heightened problem-solving skills. Our emotional intelligence could also increase, fostering a more empathetic and socially aware species. Then there's the wild card, genetic engineering. With breakthroughs in gene editing technologies like CRISPR, we might not have to wait for natural evolution. We could actively shape our future, eliminating genetic diseases, enhancing our capabilities or even extending our lifespan. However, these speculations come with a word of caution. While we can imagine and predict, the actual path of evolution is influenced by many variables including environmental changes and unforeseen technological advancements. Also, ethical considerations surrounding genetic engineering could significantly impact its use in human evolution. In the end, the future of human evolution remains a captivating mystery. Will we morph into a species of super-intelligent, genetically enhanced beings? Or will we remain largely the same, our evolution marked more by cultural and technological progression than biological change? The possibilities are as vast as our imagination. Science will undoubtedly play a crucial role in shaping our future. 
As we venture into the unknown, the discoveries and advancements we make in fields like genetics and artificial intelligence will have profound impacts on human evolution. Consider genetics, for instance. Through techniques like gene editing, we now have the potential to alter our own genetic material. We could potentially eliminate genetic diseases, enhance our physical and cognitive abilities, or even extend our lifespans. But it's not just about altering our genes. We're also learning how to create synthetic life forms, which could lead to entirely new branches on the tree of life. Then there's artificial intelligence. AI has the potential to revolutionize everything from how we work to how we interact with our environment. It could lead to greater efficiency, productivity, and innovation. But it could also fundamentally change what it means to be human. As we become more intertwined with machines, we may start to evolve in ways that we can't even begin to imagine. But with these advancements come ethical implications. How do we decide what genetic alterations are acceptable? How do we ensure that AI is used for the benefit of all, rather than a select few? These are questions that we'll need to grapple with as we shape our future. And let's not forget about the role of science in understanding and addressing the challenges we face as a species. Climate change, pandemics, resource depletion. These are all issues that science can help us navigate. By using scientific knowledge to inform our decisions, we can work towards a sustainable and equitable future. So yes, science will undoubtedly play a crucial role in shaping our future. But it's not just about the advancements we make. It's also about how we use those advancements and the decisions we make along the way. The future of humanity lies in our hands, and with it, the course of our evolution. In the grand scheme of things, our existence is but a blink of an eye. As we stand on the precipice of the future, we can't help but look back on our journey so far. From our humble beginnings during the dawn of man, we've come a long way. The evolutionary leaps we've made from cave dwellers to modern humans have been nothing short of extraordinary. Yet, it's not just about how far we've come, it's also about the forces that have shaped us along the way. Our environment, with its ever-changing challenges and opportunities, has been a key player in our evolution. The constant push and pull between adaptation and survival have driven us to evolve, to change, to become more than we were. And let's not forget the profound impact of technology. As tools of our own creation, they've not only accelerated our development but also influenced the course of our evolution. From fire to the internet, technology has been a game changer, a catalyst for change, propelling us into the future at an unprecedented pace. But where do we go from here? What does the future hold for our species? These are questions that stir a sense of uncertainty, curiosity and excitement. The truth is, we don't know. We don't know what we'll look like a million years from now. We might remain as we are, or evolve into something completely different. Perhaps we'll sprout wings and take to the skies, or grow gills and return to the sea. The possibilities are endless. And that's what makes the journey of human evolution so fascinating. It's a journey filled with mystery, discovery, and transformation. A journey that continues to captivate us even as we move forward into the unknown. Who knows what the future holds? One thing is certain though, the journey of human evolution is far from over.